In part 4 of the Road Stakeout series, we'll be highlighting the Stake Road option. From the main menu, go into Stake Road. And we have three options. We can go from Road Horizontal Align or Horizontal and Vertical Alignment options. And you also have Transition Point Types. We can go up into the magnet symbol and ensure that our reference center line is still selected. And down the bottom we can ensure that the road stakeout report is highlighted. In this case we'll use road and select it from the list and then hit next. Once you hit next we'll go into the magnet symbol and then help. And this explains the stake alignment options in terms of what segment of the cross section want to set out. We can select segment and we can use the buttons next to segment point to scroll across the cross section to highlight different strings on the cross section that we wish to stake out on the left or right hand side. In this case we are only setting out the center line. We enter in the chainage and the chainage interval. You can also have a right offset or a left offset by hitting the button and also an up and down offset which will be used later in the video and then we hit stake we can see here by hitting up the top bar you have different views when staking out you have the option from data view, normal view, map view, cross section view or overhead view this can be changed at any time during your stake out and completely user defined Map view is the most common view used. Because you have selected center line and the change, it will give you a target that you have to set out. And once you get within this, a little green circle will appear. And once you have the correct change and offset values, simply hit measure. And you can store the point after looking at the mark and data tabs. We can hit back and we can change the option to segment and we will now set out the right edge of bitumen at the same change and interval with no offset supplied. We notice here that the icon has moved to the stakeout point of REB at 170 and if we simply go over there the green circle will appear around when you're close. Check your change and offset values and once you are happy simply hit measure and again check the data and mark values and hit the green tick. If you press and hold on the change value down the bottom it will bring up a menu highlighting the design point, design change, centerline offset, left or right, the segment that it is setting out and also a transition horizontal position. This quick option is a good way to quickly check the centerline offset and also a quick way to turn to the design point making for a faster stakeout. Now we can go back to the alignment screen and we can change the segment point and also include a offset of half a meter so we're using the same segment point with a left offset of half a meter we'll hit stake and again once you are happy over the point you can hit measure and we can if you scroll down in the data screen you'll be able to see the offsets From the stake screen we can go into the magnet symbol and hit topo and this will take us into store a point and we can call it a name, give it a code. So this is a quick transition rather than backing out and doing a survey. If you have to do a survey while doing a stake out, you can simply do all your side shots and once you are finished you can simply back out and you'll be back at the stake screen. Once we are backed out to the stake alignment screen, we can go into the magnet symbol and then view report. 
and here can we see all the road design points that were set out with their offsets and intolerance and once you are happy you can simply back out and press home and you'll be back on the main screen of magnet field and this concludes part four of the road stakeout series